What's up YouTube, Demi here with another crafting session. This one, you may remember this person from a, I think a couple months ago, a year or two ago. The guy's name is Dead Aim. Uh, he just gave me this base to craft with him. So we're partnering on this base. It's uh, tier one quant, tier one attack speed, and tier three lightning res, which is tier two for back then. You couldn't get higher than like level 78 items in maps. They just didn't exist. Uh, but these gloves, same as the helmet that we made previously, we're gonna try to hit life, life hybrid, or life plus like a flat damage roll for MF attack builds, basically. Same strategy. I'm just gonna metacraft it and block garbage stuff and go for it. I'll run them through enchants later. The best in slot glove enchant, I believe, is Commandment of Fury for attack-based projectile builds. There's just, I mean, there's really no other good attack mods or attack enchants for whatever the hell they're called. Gloves. <laughs> Sorry, I just ended stream and been editing videos for a couple hours. But for these, I'm debating between blocking mana or blocking armor. I'm sorry, not armor, evasion ES. I don't actually know which one's going to be worse to hit, so we'll, we'll try this for a while. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, if I keep slamming mana, then we'll have to swap, but... God damn it, that's just that's just perfect timing right there. Uh, he already divined the bases to perfect. This is actually an interesting one because he brought me or he showed me the base on stream yesterday, and it was like six mods. It had three garbage prefixes and I think it had life gain on hit as a suffix. Right? And I was like, well I can't do anything with that base, you're gonna have to null it multiple times. So he annuls it, gets rid of a prefix, and then nulls it again, gets rid of the suffix, and I was like, how the how the fuck did you just hit that? I can't hit a single annul. This dude just hits all of the annuls perfectly, so we have a craftable base. And then he had an open suffix, so he had to actually need to, to slam the item to get the last suffix, and he slams tier 2 lightning res. And I was like, I I don't know what I just witnessed, but it was incredible. 1 to 2 fire damage, that's not good. We're looking for the highest tier of flat elemental damage, because Wind River characters want flat Ellie. It's not going to be nearly as much as, for example, a... Uh, what's it called? A flat roll on an abyssal jewel, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> Damn it, five play. <laughs> yeah, we are going partners on this one. We're splitting the costs and splitting the fees until it's paid off, basically. No drama on this one, sadly. I know you, a lot of you guys like the drama, which is interesting. I don't personally like it. I think it's kind of dumb. But this one, drama free, just like the last time we did this. He uh, gave me a legacy count to sell for him, middleman style. Sold it for him, took the commission, moved on, right? That's how it should be. Should be quick and simple like that. This one will be the same. Hopefully these get mirrored once they're done. 60, that's not good enough. We're looking for 80 to 89 life, and I believe T1 life hybrid on these is 28 to 33 on gloves. Like 60's not bad, but we can do better. I can craft 64 life at any time, so it's like I can do better than that. If I hit like T1 lightning plus T1 hybrid, for example, I would just craft life at that point and move on. Oh, mana. So since we have two bad things here, we're just going to slam it again. That's, I believe, tier two cold on gloves. I should actually check the glove tiers. Hang on, let me pull that up. So for those of you that don't know... What did I just do? Oh, God. Windows, please. I'm, like, splitting my desktop weirdly. There we go. This is PVDB. Dot .tw, this is what I use instead of PV Affix because that website's horribly out of date. I recommend this, just like use that link. But gloves, let's see, Dex Int. What's T1 flat damage look like for gloves? 1 to 2 to 27, uh, 6 to 9, haha, <laughs> to 13 to 16, and 7 to 10, 15 to 18. Okay, I'll try to remember that. I'm not looking for Fizz too much. Like, Fizz is kind of whatever. We hit tier 3 for gloves. Okay, that's bad. I guess I could just check this too, is that right? It's tier 4. I don't know. That in-game thing is a PB item info macro. Just Google it. If I remember, I'll link it below this video, but I probably won't. If you're ever curious about what macros I use, if you head over to my stream, twitch.tv slash demigodkinglol, uh, go there and type exclamation point macro in the chat anytime, even if I'm not live. It will, um, it'll link you all of the macros and all the other stuff. There's a bunch of other commands you can do there as well. But that one's like one of the more commonly used ones. 
I use like Mercury Trade, PV Trade Macro, and P or Path of Building are all some of my good ones. Uh, I don't think that's half of one to one, right? God, this is hard to remember. That's yeah, that's T three again. Okay, I wonder how rare the T one mods are going to be on this. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Ba -ba -ba. What if I hit like T1 Lightning, T1 Cold, Crafted Life? Do you think that would be good enough? I don't know. We looked at the market for these. God damn it, mana. And bad fizz. I'm gonna try mana the next time. We looked at the market for these gloves though, like tier one quant gloves, and I looked at basically every mod available as a good suffix. And there's really not that big of a market. There's like maybe five pairs of gloves available. I'm gonna block mana this time and slam percent armor or percent evasion ES, you just watch. Okay, T1 Lightning. Okay, T1 life. <laughs> Damn it, it's so close. We hit life. I think that's T4 or T5. It's not quite good enough. I'm gonna try to save the lightning roll though. But yeah, if, once these are done, I think it'll be... If I hit life plus life hybrid, these are like the highest life quant gloves. Which would be kind of cool. Uh, let's see, let's go for this at null save. Try to get rid of the life roll. Keep the lightning. Okay. I also noticed in the last video that my mic is clipping, or one of the previous videos. My like, like the noise gate that I'm using is a little too sensitive, so it's like flickering a bunch. So hopefully it's better on this video. I've adjusted it accordingly. My computer's just really, really loud, and there's not much I can do about that. Short of moving the computer into a different room, I don't really know how to soundproof it further. That confused me. I was like, what did I just slam? I slammed hybrid. It's shitty mod, slam again. Rarity? That's also an interesting possibility. I don't really want rarity. There's, it's interesting, because if you look at the old MF gear, a lot of them don't have any resistances at all. They went for the suffix rarity mod and the prefix rarity mod, because back then people were like, oh, you have to have rarity and quantity, not just quantity, like today. Was that T1 burning? God, these are hard to remember. It is T1, okay. I'll slam that again. It's always fucking mana. Windripper, I think, primarily wants cold lightning damage, but fire damage isn't bad. We'll try to save that. Nope. All right. Great job. I would prefer lightning or cold, though. You want a lot of cold damage so you can shatter. Fucking mana. Ooh. T2 life. Okay. Um, If we save that life roll and potentially slam... Lightning damage, cold damage, fire damage, or hybrid life, that'd be good. Nope. Try again. I hate that that's even a possibility, but it makes sense. It's just kind of stupid. Should I block mana this time, or armor... Or, fuck, I keep saying armor evasion. The last item was armor evasion. Evasion, yes. We'll block mana. Slam tier 1 hybrid. Tier 2 fizz, I think. Do I want fizz? Fizz doesn't work really with Windripper. I don't think I want that. Let's try to save the life roll again. Let's see if we can. Damn it. Alright. Back to where we started. I'll try to keep blocking mana. Tier 2 or tier 3? Not good enough. Not good enough. Wrong bench. I don't know, if this keeps going the way it has been, if I keep crafting ES gear, or sorry, quant gear, I may have to actually make my like MF quant character. You guys have been asking me to do it forever. I did make a Demi Slains on how to make an MF build, which included examples of like best in slot MF gear at the time. And uh, I just, I don't know, I don't know why, but I don't like playing MF builds. Is that tier one? I think that's tier two lightning. Yeah, it's tier two, but it's like four difference. We'll try to save that. It's a rare enough mod that we'll go for it. I just, I don't know what it is. I like my characters to be strong. I don't want to spend all of the currency making them just drop more gear, if that makes sense. Damn it. I can understand the appeal. Getting more loot is fun, right? But I don't know. I just personally enjoy making characters that are really powerful so I can farm harder tier content to get that drops instead of farming easier tier content with uh, MF gear equipped. I don't know. That's just weird to me. If I could run full MF and also run really high tier maps, 
That'd be sweet. Is that tier one? It is. Alright, let's try to save it again. There are a few builds that can do that. I mean, I've seen Win Max Wind Ripper characters do Shaper and Guardians and whatnot, but it's it's not easy to get to that stage. I'm sure I have the gear though. I could do it. Ooh, we actually saved it that time. Okay, let's go back to blocking mana because fuck mana. It's being slammed way too much. Slam tier one life. <laughs> or the opposite of mana, evasion energy shield. I swear, Chris just likes fucking with me sometimes. <laughs> He's like, yeah, let's just slam everything the opposite of what we want here. So let's try to save that fire damage again, maybe? Nope. Okay. Back to where we started. Glove. I don't know why, this is going to be a lot harder because of all the LE damage and fizz damage rolls, unlike the helmet that we did before. Fuck, I forgot to block mana. Like, the helmet was just, like, evasion. Plus, um, thorns rarity and, like, what else can we get? Hybrid, right? This is like, you got mana, you get all the Ellie damage rolls, all the Fizz damage rolls. It's just a lot more difficult for some reason. I mean, not for some reason, because it has all those extra mods. I don't want Leech. I can craft the exact same tier of Leech. There's no point in me slamming it. I'd rather that one be, that be like one of the last mods to craft. It's just easier that way. But it does kind of suck because Winterper doesn't use... I slammed hybrid, but it's the wrong hybrid. I didn't even realize there was a second hybrid. Windriver doesn't use like physical attack damage, it's all just LE damage generally. That makes this even more difficult. Fuck, there's extra hybrid rolls I gotta filter my way through with exalts. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I thought this was gonna be an easy one. Bad tier of life. Fuck, man. I'm about to do multiple videos on these gloves. Which isn't a bad thing, right? You guys like content. <laughs> More content the better. Oh good. One to two cold damage. God damn it. Why are you like this? Just make this easy, please. I just want to slam life life hybrid and move on with my life. Ha Ooh, okay. Tier two hybrid, I think. Is that tier tier two or tier three? I don't remember. Hybrid. Gloves are weird. Oh that's like bad. Wait, is it? It's tier two. Why is that? Ha is there two? Okay, I see. I see what's happening. There's an evasion life hybrid and there's an ES life hybrid. But the, they don't, you can't hit both of them, so this is tier two. So if I hit tier one Ellie damage or tier one life here, we're done. But I hit hybrid evasion ES. Great. All right. Well, let's try to save that again. It looks like there's just there's just so much text on this item. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's try to get rid of that hybrid roll. No. Hybrid roll. Fuck off. Alright. Let me grab more X. Maybe I should cut this video here. I'll cut this here. We'll continue the next video in the next one. But uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, and you want to consider hitting the subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. You can also support me through clicking the join button below the stream or the link in the description if you don't see a join button. We do have that now. It is basically a way to support me directly on YouTube. If you're not a stream watcher, you're not on Patreon for whatever reason, you don't want to buy merch. That's another way to directly support me, and it does give you some perks for YouTube. But we'll be back with more crafting sessions in a second. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. That video me out.